Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building Norfolk Southern number 1069, the Virginian Heritage Unit. And this is an SD70 Ace, and I think it turned out pretty well. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and get it attached up. On either side of that, we're going to put dark oak fences. Then underneath of it, dark oak fence gate. On the next block down, in front of it, between the rails, we're going to put a block of polished blackstone. On that second block up. On either side of that, an oak wood plank and then an upside down outward facing polished blackstone stair on either side of that. Then up here, oak wood planks above the blackstone and blackstone above the oak. So it's a checkerboard pattern. In front of that in the middle, a three block tall T-shaped pattern of polished blackstone and an end rod down on bottom above each rail. Then in front of that, a five by three of polished blackstone coming out to each side of the rails. Then up here, three upside down oak wood stairs across the top middle. Then three oak slabs coming up this side gap to be the stairs to get on the locomotive. Same thing over on this side here. Then we're gonna take a dark oak button and put it on the outside edge here and here. Swing around in front of it and we'll do our wheels. Skip one block forward down on the rails, get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, we're gonna take upside down deep slate tile stairs in a row that's five wide and a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern here. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. And then another set of deep slate tile stairs upside down, five wide, and a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern again. Then one final set of wheels in front of that, so another right on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then we'll open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels over on this side here. Then on the second layer up, we'll fill in the top middle three with polished black stone block coming down the length of this truck. We're gonna come one pass where the fence gates are. Put three across the bottom, then coming off that bottom, we're gonna put a row of upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stairs that's 17 blocks long in total. Put three polished black stone across this end, and same thing over here, an upside down outward facing row of polished black stone stairs that's 17 blocks long in total to frame in the bottom of the fuel tank on this side here. Then we'll go back to polished black stone block and we'll fill in this top middle three down the length of the fuel tank. Now we'll stop at the end of the fuel tank and we'll do our next truck. So skip a block forward from this, nether right on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then same thing, upside down deep slate tile stairs, five wide, in a back to back T shaped pattern. Then our next set of nether right wheels with an end rod axle. Then another set of upside down deep slate tile stairs, five wide, in a back to back T shaped pattern again. Then a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also open them into the ends of the wheels down on this end here. Then we'll continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone down to the end of this truck. Stop above where the fence gates are. In front of that, we need to make a five by three of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the rails here. 
in front of that, a T-shaped pattern in the middle, and an end rod down above each rail. Then we'll put three polished black stone stairs across the bottom middle, and an upside down stair facing outward on each of the outside edges. Then above this, a polished black stone block in the middle, an upside down oak stair on either side, and an upside down polished black stone stair on the outside edges. Then on the top here, we're going to put three upside down oak stairs. Spin around with a dark oak stair, get it stacked up here to be the coupler, delete the one we used for placement, put a dark oak fence gate under it, and open fence gates on either side of the coupler. Then take an oak slab and put three of them coming up this gap to be the stairs, and same thing on this side here. Now we're going to come on the sides of the truck and everywhere there's a wheel, we're going to put a deep slate tile slab above the wheel. Same thing down here, a slab above each wheel, and then we'll do the other side, a slab above all three of these wheels, and slabs above these wheels here. Then we're going to take out a grindstone, we're going to come underneath here, and everywhere there's a wheel we're going to hang an upside down grindstone in front of the wheel. Do the same thing down here. And then we'll do the other side. Grindstones in front of all three of these wheels. One more corner to go. Grindstones in front of these wheels. Then my front end is going to be facing the void out here, making this the conductor side. Come on the back of the fuel tank on the conductor side with a polished black stone block and put a row of eight coming forward from the back. Then on this front one, we're going to put a crimson sign here, a player head, and a crimson button. Then we'll come over to the other side aligned with that and do the same thing, a crimson button, a player head, crimson sign. Back here on this side, a row of sideways anvils for an air tank, and then anvils up here all the way to the front for an air tank. The rest of the fuel tank on this other side is all polished black stone blocks to the front of it. Then we're going to come on this front truck here, put a bell right there. Then we'll put a chain in this gap, a chain here, a chain here, a chain here, come down here, a chain in these two gaps back here. I was having some trouble getting it placed there and a chain in these two corner gaps then on this third layer up we're going to fill in the top metal three with polished blackstone blocks going end to end then we're going to take out yellow concrete here and on this top outside edge we're going to go end to end on both sides Now we'll come on top of the front, two blocks in from the end. Yellow concrete on the left, skip a block, and three more. Then copy that pattern up, but with black wool this time. Then a target block in the middle for the logo, and a yellow concrete on either side of that target block. Come around behind it here, a yellow concrete on the outside edge of each bottom, then a black wool. Then we're going to take out an oak wood stair, forward facing on the corner here and here, and then turn it sideways here and here. Then three yellow concrete across this top gap. Then on the bottom behind it, on this engineer side, we're gonna go one yellow concrete, then two yellow shulker boxes, yellow concrete. Over here, a full row of yellow concrete, and we'll put two ladders in the middle for vents. Then above it, four black wool on each side. Then on the next layer up, we're gonna put a black wool in each of the four corners. And then in between that, yellow concrete for the locomotive number. Then a yellow concrete on each of the sides on back, across the front, two 
cyan stained glass blocks, a black wool, two more cyan stained glass, then two cyan stained glass panes in each of these side gaps to be the side windows. Then, above that, on top of the windows, we're going to put three yellow concrete across the top middle. Behind that, we'll fill in the middle three of the rest of the cab roof with black wool to the back of the cab here. So a three by three. Then we'll put polished black stone stairs facing outward above the windows. And same thing over here. Then we're going to come behind the cab here, one block in from the edge, and put a row of eight yellow concrete coming back. We'll do the same thing on this other side. Then above it, a layer of black wool. Same thing over here. On the conductor side, another full layer of black wool. On the engineer side, we're going to skip one block back from the cab to leave space for a door and bring black wool to the end. Then a layer of yellow concrete, still skipping one block back on this side, down to the end of this. And a full layer of yellow up to the cab on that other side. Then we're going to come to the end of this section here. And on the back middle, we need to get two cobbled deep slate on top. So we'll put a temporary block there, and then two cobbled deep slate up here. On both sides of it, iron bars. So two iron bars on each side. Then we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of this top, three wide, with black wool coming up to the cab. Just like that. Now we'll build the inverter box that's over here. So starting on this outside edge on bottom, right behind the cab, we're gonna run a full line of yellow concrete down to the end of this section. Above that, a full line of black wool. And then on this next layer up, it's gonna be a line of black wool, but we're gonna stop two blocks before the end and put two vertical polished basalt there for a vent. Then we're gonna take out oak trap doors starting behind the cab on this top edge and we're gonna close five of them right there. Then we'll skip one block and down on bottom close five trap doors here as well. Come up on this top here in the middle put a smoker for the exhaust. Then we're gonna extend out this yellow concrete on each side by two and surround this exhaust on top with black wool. Then we can go ahead and come down here. Two yellow concrete on bottom and a two by two of black wool. Same thing here, two yellow concrete, two by two of black wool. Then we're gonna move down to the rear end here and starting in the middle on the third block in, we're gonna put a yellow concrete then one here and here. Above that, two layers of black wool, then a layer of yellow concrete, and another layer of black wool on top. Behind this in the middle, three netherite coming forward, then three anvils above it. Then we'll make a three by three of iron bars on the side. Same thing over here, a three by three of iron bars. Above the iron bars, three yellow concrete on each side, then three black wool. Then a black wool on this front middle, a cobbled deep slate, two more black wool. Come down here on this side in front of the bars, yellow concrete, two black wool, yellow concrete. In front of that, we're gonna put an oak stair, a black shulker box, then a black wool, and a yellow concrete. Then this is kinda tricky, we're gonna have to crouch and get a jungle trap door on that shulker box and close it for the brake wheel. Then over on this side, yellow concrete, two black wool, yellow concrete, then three vertical polished basalt and a yellow concrete. 
Then we're going to come up here with black wool in front of this stop section. And we're going to make it coming sideways five blocks across so it sticks out on each side. Then coming off this, we're going to come another eight blocks forward. Then we'll come across here. And we'll just square this off so it's a rectangle. Then we'll put three black wool across the very middle of it here. Then we'll swing down underneath this here and fill in the rest of the locomotive. So start here with yellow concrete and bring it all the way to that front till it connects. Do the same thing on the other side. Then on each side, a double layer of black wool. So bring that right up to the front here. Do the same thing over here, two layers of black wool. We'll bring that all the way forward. Then, a layer of yellow concrete. Same thing over here. Full line of yellow concrete coming forward. Now we're gonna come under this section that's sticking out and we're gonna put a line of upside down outward facing oak stairs. Same thing on this side over here line of upside down stairs under this section on this side. Now we'll move up to the top here. We'll go ahead and put black wool in these middle gaps. Then in the very middle of each of these squares a cobbled deep slate with an oak trap door above it and an oak trap door above that one as well. Then we're going to take out an iron trap door because there's a low profile fan back here. And we're going to surround this so it's a plus shape. Then around these, we're going to make a plus shape of polished black stone blocks. Then above that, a plus shape of polished black stone slabs on top. Then we'll put black wool down in each of these corners around these fans. Then we'll come up here, put black wool up this middle gap. Then in the middle, one block forward from the front section, open back to back dark oak fence gates for the horn. Then we'll fill in all the rest of this section with polished black stone slabs here. Now we'll come on top of the cap here. In the very middle, we're gonna put two polished black stone slabs and a black candle behind it. Then we're going to take out black carpet, fill in here, and all down the sides of this. And we're just going to fill in the whole top of this section with black carpet. Bring it right back here, cover this vent in iron bars, and then stop right here. Then we'll put dark oak trap doors around that exhaust. On this side, one block forward from that top vent, we're going to close a trap door here. Then we'll come over on this side, do the same thing, and we're also going to put a ladder one block back from the cap. Then we'll come down to the very back on the conductor side here, and we'll put three ladders above those iron bars. On this side, we're going to come on the top above the iron bars and put one ladder here and here. Then up behind the cab here by this door, we're gonna put a row of five yellow concrete on bottom. Then on top, a black wool will be right in front of where the door is. And then three black shulker boxes. Then we'll take out a birch door, put one here and one on the front here. Now we'll take out black carpet, put it in front of this door here and we'll have to crouch to put it on these shulker boxes. Then black carpet on this step, 
and then all down this walkway to the back. Just keep bringing it back here. When we get here, come around this corner and a T-shape of black carpet on the end. Then knock out this block, put in black wool. Then go back to black carpet and start filling it in up the walkway on this side. Bring it all the way forward till you get to the inverter box. Then we'll go ahead and put it up here on top of this box so it covers those vents. Then on the front, a T-shape of black carpet here. Then we're going to grab yellow carpet real quick. And we're going to put yellow carpet across the top of this nose. Then we'll do our railing, so take out an oak fence, come up by four right here. Here we come up three, over one, up one, and another one, and then make it a two by two. Same here, so up three, over one, and then a two by two up here. Then up by four here. Then we'll come work on the back end. So right here, come up by four. Here, come up by three and over one. Then a two by two up here. Same thing here. Up three, over one. A two by two right here. Here we come up by four. Then we'll come around this way and start bringing it all the way forward up this walkway up to the inverter box on this side. When we get right here, we're gonna come straight up another three, and then over until it connects up with the back of the cab on this side. So it looks like this. Then we gotta do the other side here come down to the back end on this side, connect it up right here, and bring it all the way forward up this side. When we get right here, we're going to come up one, over one, up one, and then over until it connects with the cap. Then we'll put a white stained glass pane here and here for rear view mirrors. Now we're gonna come on the front here, take out a glow item frame. Put one on each of these fences with glowstone for ditch lights. Then a glow item frame up here with glowstone for the headlight. To the side of it, we're gonna take a birch sign and put on our locomotive number plate, which for this one is 1069. And same thing on the other side here. Now we'll move down and do the back end. On the back, on this top yellow stripe on the outside edge, we're going to put an oak sign with 1069. Same thing over here. Then, down here, we're going to put two blank dark oak signs because there's a vent. Above that, a glow item frame with glowstone for the rear headlight. And then, glow item frames down there with glowstone if you want rear ditch lights. Run a ladder up the left hand side. Now we need to make some banners. So we're going to come into a loom here. And I already have one way back here so I'm just going to go to that one. We're going to take a black banner and yellow die. We're going to put a vertical on the left. And then a diagonal. New banner. Vertical in the middle. New banner. We're going to put a vertical on the left. then the top half yellow, then a diagonal. New banner. A vertical on the right, switch to black die here. I was having some trouble pressing the wrong things. But we need a vertical yellow on the right. Get that banner made, switch to black die. Top half black. Then back to yellow die. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom.
New banner. S this time with yellow die. Vertical on the left. Vertical on the right. Diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left. Vertical on the right. Horizontal on top. Horizontal in the middle. Then we're going to switch to black die. And we're going to put a black border around all of these letter banners. Then we can come up and place them on the side of our locomotive here. So we're going to come back up to it. We'll start on this side here. We're going to come on the black section, one block forward from the inverter box here. And we're just going to spell out Virginian. Then we'll come over and do the other side. On this side, we'll start directly under the end of this fan section and use your banners to spell out Virginian on this side. Now we'll work on the interior. So come on in through this nose door. We'll take an end portal in this corner to be the toilet. Then we'll take smooth sandstone slabs, stack it all the way up to the window here, and all the way up to the window here. In this back, we stack it two blocks tall, and two blocks tall right here. In the middle, we use our slabs to make like a staircase going down here. And then on this side, we'll stack them two blocks tall as well. Back here in the middle, a blast furnace and glowstone to light. Turn around, put a slab over there for a desk, glow item frame up here with an end crystal for a computer screen, and a lever for the engineer. Turn around this way and put a stair on each side to be seats. Then we'll put a door right there. And now the interior is completed here. And there we have it folks. We've completed Norfolk Southern number 1069, the Virginian Heritage Unit. And I think this one turned out really cool. This color scheme really pops in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.